Hello and welcome back to Joe Cap Chicks Kenya TV where we give you all the farming tips regarding poultry farming. My name is Monique Kyoko. Now today we are going to talk about a very important topic when it comes to farming. Every farmer knows that you should vaccinate your animals. Now today we are going to talk about uh, poultry vaccination and we have our CEO Joe Kyoko who will take us through the process. Karibuni. Karibu sana bwana CEO. We are happy to have you back. But before we start, let's give our audience some time to subscribe. Have you subscribed? Please click the subscription button down below. It's around here. It's red in color. Make sure it turns gray. Turn on the notification bell so that you're the first to be notified whenever we post a video. Also share with your friends so that they can get informed and like it supports our channel. Also leave a comment. Um, down below on the comment section ask us any question uh, regarding poultry farming or even uh, a topic that you'd like us to talk about next time have you subscribed all right so uh, mr jokio are you ready to take us through the topic of vac vaccination yeah i'm ready Karibu -san. so tell us why is it important for a farmer to vaccinate their poultry uh it is important eh? because uh, it's like any other kind of vaccination. The way we vaccinate our children, the way we do ourselves, we vaccinate ourselves, it is as important as that because uh, vaccine will, uh, it is like, it's a prevention. It will prevent the those viral diseases, there are those diseases which cannot be cured. Even if uh, you buy any medicine, it will not be cured. So, because they normally come in a certain hinge of the birds, so you are supposed to do it before, before that comes, that disease comes. So that when it comes, it will not uh, kill or it will not affect your flock. So that's basically why it's important to vaccinate because it is not curable. Okay. Yeah. Um, and at what age do you vaccinate your birds? Uh, you know, there are different uh, types of diseases which we vaccinate against. So, like uh, in our archery, we vaccinate immediately the, the day old. Immediately it is hatched, there is a vaccine that we, we do, it's called Marex. Then uh, after a week, we do another, after the day we do the placement in the brooder, after seven days we do the, another vaccination. Mm -hmm. After seven days we do another one. We do every week, every week, after seven days, we do vaccination. Then uh, there are other two which comes later on whereby you skip seven days, it's like it means 14 days for the birds to have that immunity of receiving that other um, vaccine. All right, and um, you've mentioned a couple of times that the bird is vaccinated. Mm -hmm. Are all these vaccines the same or are they different types of? They, they are different types of vaccine. Okay. Though so there are those um, notorious diseases that will repeat. Okay. Like uh, you do this kind of vac vaccination today, and after a couple of days, you repeat that because it, it is very notorious. It comes, you can vaccinate, and after a few months, if you are not, you have not repeated that, you do that. It's like the one they, they are doing in Corona. You hear there is first jab and yeah. another one. Okay. So there are those uh, notorious diseases that we have to repeat, but there are others which you don't. Okay, so maybe you could take us through the different types of vaccines, um, including the one that you're saying you could repeat. Okay. Yes. So the first one, I've told you, there is the one that we do at the archery, and uh, it's called Marex. It helps uh, 
it uh, helps to to prevent something like disability in the bird. I think if I compare it with the human vaccine, I will compare it with the polio. Okay. Because if you don't do that, you will see in your flock some of the the, the birds are they have the weak weak uh, legs, those kind of disabilities, and. Uh, We've been uh, encouraging our farmers or our customers to to make sure they buy chicks from uh, a good archery, whereby you are sure that that vaccine is given to your birds, because it will it will not just uh, you will not just realize the first day or the first week. It might come after like a month or like two months when the birds are big, and you cannot. Uh, then the, the, the bones are now strong. Then you start seeing rickets, disabilities in your birds. So that is Marex. Many people don't do that, but it is very important. Okay. We have another one, uh, the, the, the notorious one that I'm talking about, is called uh, uh, Neocastro. And that one, uh, it affects it is like the main type of uh, disease that affects that viral disease. Okay. Many people like it is very, it is very, it's a lot in uh, in the, the area, eastern area, like Kitui, Makueni, Machakos, Embu. You know, there we have a lot of farms there, as I told you. So. Between uh, it is it, it comes with uh, it's like a wind which comes carrying it. So between April, let's say from May, June, July, August up to around November, you will hear a lot of people talking about my the whole of my flock has been cleared. So that is Newcastle. You are supposed to do, there is one called, uh, the first one we do in our, in our case, we do IB life. Then uh, after we do that one, the next one that we do, we do another one called Kuboro. Then we repeat that one called uh, now the, the, the new castle plane. Uh, this Kuboro um, is another disease. It's also notorious. It will re reappear. So we need to do it twice. So we start with the program that we've given to our farmers. We start with Marex, that is the one that we do. We are the one who, do, who, who administer that one. Then uh, second week, that is after seven days after they start eating, we do IB Life, Newcastle. The following week we do uh, Guboro, uh, in the minted plus. When you go to, when you have our, our chat, you'll see that. I think in our, our director will uh, show on the screen. It's called uh, Gumboro Intermediate Plus. Then after that, after you do the first Gumboro, you repeat the, the new castle, now play. The first one I, I, I said, I be life. Now you, you go to FED, you tell him, oh, give me a Newcastle plane. Then you repeat again the Guboro, now plane also. Then from there you stay for one week. No, not one week, 14 days. The 14th day, we do a full typhoid. That is also very common to especially those people who are in central, central parts of Kenya, Rift Valley, where there is uh, coldness, you will uh, see it very common there. So that one, it is uh, called for uh, typhoid, for typhoid. Then we have another one, after 14 days, we do four pox. Opox is that one that you, you will find the, the bird is having some uh, hoods on the, on the head, the face, yeah. 
So those are our vaccination. Then uh, after you do all those vaccination, when you finish doing the vaccination, that is a very important thing that farmers should do. You are supposed now to dewarm your birds. Before now, after you do all the, the vaccination. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe you could tell us more about the deworming now that you've mentioned about the vaccine. Deworming is just uh, because, you see, in our case, we have a whole month of uh, doing vaccination, vaccination. So during that time, eh, because it's, since it was born, it was hatched, let's be, it is not, yeah. 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 since it was hatched, yeah. it started eating, doing, uh, eating different types of feeds. Yeah. Not, uh, maybe you can have different types of feeds, but you can start with a chicken mash or you start with a starter. So because of that environment that they have been staying, it's good to, to deworm if there is any worms in the system to be flushed out. All right. Yeah. Um, so something I've noticed or I've heard from a lot of poultry farmers mm -hmm. is that um, they encounter problems of um, uh, mobility in their chicken. Mm -hmm. So they vaccinated, vaccinated their chicks at the right time. They followed all the procedure. So is it because the vaccine was bad or what, why is it that chicken are still dying even after being vaccinated? Okay, that's a very good question and that's where the main problem is with the farmers mm. because because of the way they do their vaccination. Okay. So we've received a lot of DMs about uh, I vaccinated my birds and they are all dying mm. and what I vaccinated against is, is uh, killing my birds. Mm. Uh, there is a procedure of how you are supposed to do your vaccination. Number one, eh? you see, most of uh, companies will tell you, uh, you will see the first vaccine that I've talked about, th this is the second one, eh? you will see th them telling you, I drop. So, on our case, eh, we don't uh, believe on uh, I dropping eh? or putting in the news of the bird, we encourage our farmers to put this vaccine in water so that that chick can take the, the water. No, when it takes, it is not like when you drop in the high. Mm -hmm. Maybe when you are about to drop, it will close the, the, the high. Yeah. And uh, there are many. They are very many, maybe you have like 300, you have a thousand. Mm -hmm. You know, you will not concentrate on uh, open your eyes, I want, no. Yeah. So, but if you give them water, they will take. Now, I want to answer your question, why they are dying? That is problem, maybe it was not vaccinated. Mm -hmm. The way you did your vaccination. Number one, eh, vaccine itself is, uh, is kept in a fridge. In a, with a certain decrease Celsius. So, reason number one why they might be dying, you might take it from here and you travel like many kilometers away, take it to your bath. You see, if you, you are not careful, you will find that uh, that Celsius, the temperature, has been interfered with. So when you take it there, you will not take vaccine. You are taking another thing called uh, uh, you are you are you are taking poison. Yeah. Because once it dies, once it uh, that temperature goes down mm. or goes high, it will it becomes poisonous. So when you give them, it will uh, affect them. All if, even if they will not die at the moment. They, it will it will be expired because you've interfered with the temperature of the the, the vaccine. Yeah. Another problem people are doing, mistake they are doing, is uh, if you are putting this vaccine in water. Now, vaccine is very delicate. Now, and uh, vaccine is like uh, the one that the way we do vaccination to human being, 
it is the same way it's supposed to be done to these birds. Because if you are not careful, you are going to do something wrong. So vaccine is, um, is supposed to be handled with a lot of care. Mm. When you go to FET and you ask that vaccination that vaccine that you want, number one, you are supposed to check the expiry date. There are places where to see somebody asking for vaccine, it will take many months. So because this somebody, this guy bought his vaccine, when it expires, he will just wait for you to come and buy and because you are not checking that, you buy expired vaccine and vaccine. So I talked about uh, the temperatures. It, the conditions where around surrounding the vaccine is supposed to be very cold. Every every company tells you you are supposed to put under this uh, decrease Celsius. So when you take it and you are putting it in water, it is supposed to end. That is the main problem where your parts are, are dying. I want to tell you that. When you take it now and you open it, you put it in water. That vaccine, even if we, the, the, the temperatures are okay, and you put it in just normal water, bubble water, rain water, the tap water, mm. you put it there, that vaccine will not work to your birds. Why? Mm. Because that environment that you put it, it is not conducive for it. Because it's supposed to go to water which has no impurities. Okay. And there is all those types of water that I've talked about as those impurities. If it's rain water, when it's raining, it is collecting some chemicals, it brings, it comes with the chemicals. If it's tap water, it is it has chlorine, so that's a chemical. If it's a whole uh, water, it passes through stones and uh, minerals. So when you put it in that water, Immediately, it suspects that this water has impurities in it. It will die immediately. Because vaccines are bacteria, live bacteria. Mm. So when it comes there and gets another, that environment is not comfortable for it, it, will, it dies very fast. It survives well in that temperatures or in the blood system, body system. Mm -hmm. When it enters to the body system, it will be comfortable. So what are you supposed to do yeah. to, to make sure this water has no those impurities? You are supposed to use a water called a distilled water. Mm -hmm. Not many people know it. When you go to chemistry, that is the water that you are supposed to use to make sure that your bad, your vaccine is okay. It is a uh, they have removed all those impurities. The pH of the water is zero is to zero. Mm. But uh, when I tell my farmers that, they will tell me, I have a thousand chicks. And this uh, distilled water, one liter is very expensive. Yeah. I cannot afford that. So there is another product. Next time I will be showing you that product mm. that you put in water. In fact, you put it one hour before. Okay. It will neutralize or it will take away all those uh, impurities in that water and make sure the pH of the water it is zero. So when it, you bring your vaccine, it will be okay. And it is, it is also a good thing because when you put it in water, the water immediately turns blue. I know the, the, the good farmers who have come to us, they know it. Yeah. So when you put it there, the water will turn blue. And the advantage of using that uh, that product, number one, it will uh, neutralize the pH, water pH. Then the other thing, eh, because you are now giving water to your birds, putting the vaccine in it, you will be able to identify which bird has not taken. Because the moment it dips the, the bit in it, in the water, mm -hmm. it turns blue. Mm -hmm. Or oh, when it's drinking, it, uh, 
you will see the, the feathers becoming blue and even the, 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 the peak of the, the bird. Mm. So that is the main problem where people, those are two things I've told you where people go wrong about vaccination. I, then uh, you might find somebody has done those two things. You go to to fetch, it's given you the good one, it's not expired, you've come with the good temperatures, you've come in food, you put in that water that you prepared. Another problem, there are some things that you are supposed to do before you give your birds the vaccine. You are supposed to stuff these birds like three hours without giving them water, but you are giving them food. I mean feet. Mm. So that at the time, by the time you bring that water, they will stop everything they were doing and come and take this water. And that water will be consumed very fast if you start them well. So I think within, when it is too cold, hot, when it is, the weather is too warm, you just put uh, like two hours, but like now it's cold. Eh? can even go for three hours and a half to make sure that you've stuffed them and uh, the feeds are there. So, when you do that, you will uh, see within a few minutes that vaccine is over. So, where people go wrong, you just stuff within, maybe others they don't even know if you are supposed to stuff your bags. You just uh, within raw water, and you put in the vaccine. Mm. There are many which will not take that vaccine because they are not nasty. The reason you they want to tell you, you start them is to make them nasty. Mm. Now, problem number I think number four. Many people will do all that that I've explained. Eh? Then they will bring the vaccine. Vaccine actually is supposed to take at most to one hour. You, even if it's not you it's not finished, you just take it out and go and throw. Because we remember we talked about the temperatures. Mm. So the more it is, stays here, it will die. And immediately it dies, that it becomes poison. So what are you supposed to do? You don't you don't just bring the drinker. You know, you stuffed them and you brought the, the drinker with water. Mm they will scramble for that water. Mm. And during that, we'll see the water dropping around that drinker. Mm. So what you are supposed to do is to look for a carton. You place it down. Where you will place your, your drinker with vaccine. So that when that water drops out from the, the drinker, it comes to that carton. I am talking about carton because it will absorb, or you just bring a, a cotton cloth to make sure it will absorb that which comes out of them. Because if you don't do that, this water will fall down here and you will remove this uh, drink and mm -hmm. go and wash. They will start eating around that and they eat that vaccine which is dead. Will they not die? Mm. They will die. So those, those are the basic things people don't do. Yeah. And uh, if you don't follow that uh, procedure that I've told you, your bat will die. You, will, you, you must be very keen when you are doing your vaccination. And uh, also, vaccine is, uh, I told you, just compare the way children do. When you see a child vaccinated, the temperature, the body temperature of that child will rise. And she will, uh, the child will cry, will have a lot of discomfort. Because you brought something which is life in the blood system of that child. And this thing, it is like a uh, coming, coming to hide it somewhere waiting for an enemy. Mm. Because I told you this is a prevention way. So, 
for this vaccine to settle in the body, it does not just settle anywhere. It just it goes to in a part of the body system. And to look for that area for it to stay, it is not, you know, there are other bacteria which are in the body. So immediately they will start fighting those other bacteria which are good. And maybe they are good. They, when it enters to the body, it will start fighting and fighting to look for that place to, to wait for that disease to come. So you will see you are bad, dull, others will die. There are some people who just do vaccination and after within one hour you hear of hundred have died, ten have died. Why? Because of that stress. So before there are preparations that you do before you give the vaccine to the bird. A day before you bring this vaccine, you are supposed to use uh, you are supposed to use vitamins or this product. This is a poultry microbe mm -hmm. to, to make sure the body has relaxed. And uh, I told you about like like poultry microbes is something that you fermented them. So when you give it to birds, the the the, the bacteria in it will be will be cooled down so that they may give the vaccine time to settle. So you can give uh, vitamins, you can give something like uh, even the normal glucose that people can take. You just a whole day giving them and immediately after you remove this water which had vaccine or after they finish taking vaccine, you bring in another day of uh, vitamins so that you give this vaccine time and humble time to fix itself to the body system. So, if you don't do those kind of uh, procedures that I'm telling you, you will uh, find that you are bad at dying. And if you don't follow the proper pr procedure of vaccination, you are bad to die. And that's why they die. And on that note, you know, we are the farmer's pride, so we come with good things. So um, we are going to give, we have a giveaway alert, so we're going to give five farmers um, a one liter bottle of our poultry microbes. All you need to do is something very easy. Send us a screenshot of you sharing our link with your friends. Just send a link, tell them, hey, come watch Joe Kev Chicks. Just send them, tell them to subscribe. Post it on your social media platform and tag us at Joe Kev Chicks Kenya. And the first five people to do that will get a one liter bottle each of the poultry microbes. All right, I have been your host, Monique Kyoko. I hope to see you next time with more people on board. Remember to comment, subscribe, share the link, and let's grow the family. Until next time, goodbye.